my point here is that Trump has his work cut out for him because returning as much power as possible from Washington to the states is what liberalism and the Democrat Party stridently opposes. They want as much power, decree, command, control in Washington as they can get. Less responsibility for them. It's much harder to do away with it and get rid of it when, say, Obama is in charge of who can use bathrooms and who can't. So Trump has his work cut out for him. Now, he mentioned in the budget that he's going to increase defense spending. And he's going to have his, uh, his stimulus to rebuild roads, bridges, airplanes, and all that. And he's not going to add to the deficit. And he said he's not going, well, he's not going to blow it up. And he's not going to cut Social Security, Medicaid, Medicaid. So how's he going to do this? How in the world is this possible? Well, this is going to be one of the great moments, if you ask me. Because how many times have you heard the establishment types? I don't care what either party, media, think tankers say. I mean, we, you can't cut the budget anywhere but entitlements. I mean, entitlements are 65, 70% of the budget. You can't cut those by law. That's why they're called entitlements. You can't cut them. And they say, because of that, we really can't cut the budget. Yet here comes Trump saying he's going to do it. How's he going to do it? Well, bye-bye National Endowment for the Arts. Bye-bye National Endowment for the Humanities.